So we're asking, do you feel safe in your neighborhood? How often do you check on your neighborhood app like Nextdoor or Citizen? For years, there's been speculation that the answers to those questions could be related. A new study looks into it, and Abby Larico is with us to verify what it found out. Good morning. Hey, Allison, good morning. We looked at this study and talked to one of its authors, and its headline finding was that higher use of these neighborhood-centric social apps correlates with a higher perception of crime in your neighborhood. But there's more to it. Let's dig into the fast facts. Findings come from surveying a widespread sample, 400 people in 43 different states, asking if they use Nextdoor or Citizen and about their perception of the crime rate in their community. They looked specifically at these community-centric apps because they're fundamentally different from wider network social media. Everything that you're getting from Nextdoor and Citizen and things like that, at least to a certain extent, is basically in your backyard. That hyper-locality, plus the way apps decide what you see, could lend to some of this bias. For example, example, they find a post about a neighborhood troublemaker will likely get more comments than one about a garage sale. The algorithms that certain apps use are going to amplify the things that get the most attention. And so if it's amplifying those things, it's just going to be more and more stuck in your brain. Similar effects have been found in people who consume a lot of crime reporting in their local news. Fetterman says staying up to date can empower people and keep them safe, but it's important to recognize that perception doesn't always match reality. Other research in this area has shown that people who tend to show these biased crime rates are more afraid to go out into their community. Actually, one of the findings that we show in social psychology often is, is just learning about these biases actually can reduce the biases. That's an important part there. Of course, this might seem obvious to some people to keep it in perspective that social media isn't the same as real life. But for many others, the study's authors say this can be a really good reminder. Allison. All right. Yeah, it can be. Thank you so much. And I had to think about it. Do I feel safe? And what do I do to make sure I remain safe? Locking the windows and things like that. Abby, thank you.